I will tell you that as soon as I started the company, the very first thing I did was get my benefits package in place. Before I even paid myself, I put my benefits package in place because okay. people are going to want to come to a right. company that mm -hmm. takes care of their people. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, I didn't even take a salary for the first year in order to make sure that we could afford to pay for benefits. Um, and I, I believe most companies will require you to have a minimum of five people. So you have to get five people that want benefits and start your uh, package. So that's one thing. Um, there are a lot of things that we do as incentives, but as a startup, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, those things are hard. We do some um, reimbursement for certifications and education, um, you know, you know, the paid time off. Uh, we, we negotiate it because there are some people that come in with, um, let's say I'm hiring a veteran and they don't want my benefits. Well, we can negotiate other things to make sure that it is of value to them. So there's a lot of areas where you can, or we match on our 401k. There's a lot of areas that you can improve on. As a startup though, <laughs> a PEO, a professional employment organization. Yeah. Um, you're talking about your ADPs, you're talking about your paychecks and places like that. And what these people do is they take small businesses like us, pull us all together and they sell us, um, benefits because you may not have the five that you need but if I group you with this other small business and all the other people then they they mm -hmm. they group you in and, and, and do that that is how it works mm -hmm. but I'm letting you know there it's tough and it can be expensive they are necessary and they are they also are. very useful for a number of businesses who don't want to handle the human resources aspect so and that's why they're so large is because there's a lot of people out there that do not want to play that human resources game mm -hmm. um, that's not a choice that we've made we've we've brought it in-house um, and sometimes it can be like a hundred dollars a paycheck that you're paying per person per person and and so the the prices vary okay. and and you know it all depends upon where you are in the growth yep. um, of your company and so those those PEOs are very useful for brand new companies because what you can do is you can provide state of the art um, benefits, and and you're still going to pay for it, mm -hmm. but at least you have that that option to provide benefits to your employees, and all of that needs to get calculated in that wrap rate. So when you you need to start looking at PEOs or you know benefits providers now. So when you get a $100,000 employee, you know if that employee is going to take benefits, how much of those benefits are you going to pay? Right. Are you going to you know, cough up 50% of their benefits? Are you going to cough up 75%, pay more for a single? Or all of those decisions are decisions you're going to need to make, and you're going to want to know kind of conceptually what those decisions look like now so when you do have an opportunity to hire somebody, you can get your pricing correct.